Pro Group Management. Workers' comp that works for you. This is 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review-Journal. Good evening, I'm Jen Ah. Thanks for joining us on 7 at 7. In Top Stories, sponsored by Nevada Hand Silver Sky Assisted Living Community. Learn more at nevadahand.org. An arrest report sheds new light on the killing of a woman from Hawaii at the Fashion Show Mall parking garage on New Year's Eve. Police say a silver BMW led them to the suspects, Chasani Carter and Jordan Ruby, as the car had been connected to a robbery a day earlier at Wynn, Las Vegas. Police believe this is part of a crime spree by these two uh, defendants, although they deny any responsibility for the crimes. The arrest report reveals 66-year-old Clarice Yamaguchi and her husband were walking back to their rental car to grab a mask when the gunman emerged and tried to steal her purse. The struggle led to Yamaguchi being shot and killed. In other news, the Raiders announced they're expecting Nate Hobbs to play Sunday night despite his DUI arrest calling it a legal matter. Police say the rookie cornerback was booked Monday morning after a report of a driver asleep inside of a vehicle parked at the exit ramp of a parking garage on the Las Vegas Strip. Obviously, we, we, we take that extremely serious um, organizationally and, and certainly within our, our team. And, and um, so based on what we've learned at this time, um, we expect Nate to play. Hobbs' attorney sent out a statement saying, quote, this does not qualify as a DUI under Nevada law. And combining sports with art, the first of its kind NFL-themed store is set to open on the Las Vegas Strip, featuring collaborations with celebrities and local designers. The NFL Las Vegas, presented by Visa Store, will open January 15th at Caesars Palace. NFL leaders say the store will give fans a modern retail experience, quote, against the backdrop of the upcoming Pro Bowl, the 2022 NFL Draft, and the recently announced Super Bowl in Vegas. Sports, sponsored by Station Casinos, STN Sports. Download the app and get a bonus up to $100 when you sign up. The Raiders are preparing to take on the Los Angeles Chargers Sunday night at Allegiant Stadium with a shot at the playoffs on the line. However, quarterback Derek Carr believes the team has been in playoff games for the last month. I feel like the last, the last month we've been playing in our playoffs, at least that's what we've been talking about. You know, because if we lost any of these, it really wouldn't matter. So if you look back to the last three games, they've all been the biggest games of our career. And so everyone wants to keep talking about one game, but if we lost any of these other ones, we wouldn't be talking about this one. Business sponsored by Bank of Nevada, Bank on Accountability. One of the largest conventions in Vegas opens today despite numerous hurdles. Review Journal's James Schaefer has the highlights. No, your eyes aren't deceiving you. We're here at CES 2022 seeing the future of the world and of the road. It's called e-ink. It changes the exterior shade of the BMW iX flow from white to black anywhere on the body of the car with a push of a button. The vehicle's rims, the side view mirror, the hood, all changing from two-tone and back to whatever you want. The next vehicle newcomer was for the U.S. Post Office, labeled the next generation delivery vehicle built by Ford. The new vehicle features include backup cameras, a 360 degree camera in front and rear bumper sensors. Now we couldn't include all the new tech we saw at CES Wednesday, so tune in Thursday morning for more coverage. For the Las Vegas Review Journal, I'm James Schaefer. In weather, you can expect a clear and quiet night, not as cool as previous nights, with temps in the 50s getting down to the 40s overnight. On Thursday, another sunny day with highs getting up to the 60s and a low of 39 degrees. On Friday, partly cloudy skies, but mostly sunny with light breezes coming through, which will last through the week. You can expect sunny skies on Saturday and Sunday before the clouds return. Your highs stay in the 60s all week. In Lifestyle, sponsored by Glittering Lights at Las Vegas Motor Speedway. Winter break is officially over as students return to school today. But as Review Journal's Renee Semmerauer tells us, some parents are not exactly excited. Renee? Jen, an administrator from the CCSD Parents Facebook group page, says that she thinks parents are more anxious and have more questions about this reopening than even early last year. She said the Facebook group's members are divided with some parents wanting schools to stay open for in-person instruction and some in favor of at least temporarily returning to remote learning. We spoke with some parents today as they dropped off their kids about how they felt. 
COVID numbers are at the highest they've been since COVID, you know, started. You know, all these kids have been um, going to visit their families and, you know, probably traveling. Well, they've been out of school for almost a year and a half since the COVID. So I think it's important for them to um, get the virtual learning in school, the hands-on learning in school. Um, if all the parents would keep their kid at home when they notice a sign or a symptom. Now there is no COVID-19 vaccination requirement for students. The school district's online COVID-19 case dashboard shows over 7,000 cases among students and all staff. Jen. In response, the school district says it's working with health officials to protect students and staff through cleaning protocols, noting the mask mandate remains. Sports betting, sponsored by Las Vegas Paiute Tribal Smoke and Cigar Shop. College basketball conference play has begun. Gonzaga is the 6-1 favorite at the Westgate Superbook to win the NCAA tournament. Duke and Purdue are next at 7-1, followed by Kansas at 8-1. Defending national champion Baylor is 10-1, despite being undefeated and the unanimous number one ranked team in the AP poll. Kentucky, UCLA, and Texas are in the next group at 16-1. UNLV and UNR are 1,001. In health, for the next three weeks, most new COVID cases will be caused by the Omicron variant. That's the prediction from Las Vegas researchers. Eight or nine out of every 10 cases will be Omicron based on genetic analysis of local wastewater. Look at the huge spike on this chart. And organizers are postponing the Grammys in Los Angeles indefinitely amid the COVID surge. John Bastis is the leading nominee, followed by Justin Bieber, Doja Cat and Her. The show was scheduled for January 31st with live audiences and performances. But now it's all up in the air. In entertainment sponsored by DiscoverYourNevada.com, brought to you by Travel Nevada. Don't call R&B artist Jason Derulo Usher. Review Journal's John Katsimidis explains. Well, we have already learned something in Las Vegas in 2022. What can happen if you yell Usher at Jason Derulo? You might touch off a fracas. This happened very early Tuesday morning or very late Monday night at Jewel Nightclub at Aria. A couple of guys shouted Usher and some profanities at Derulo as he was coming off the escalators. Bedlam ensued, but nobody was arrested because the two guys involved in the incident didn't want to press charges and Derulo walked. Hopefully we'll see him again, but on stage, preferably. Thank you for watching 7 at 7. If you're watching from YouTube, don't forget to subscribe to the Review Journal's YouTube channel for more great content. Watch Las Vegas Breaking News, streaming live on your OTT device. We'll see you back here for more 7 at 7 tomorrow. Review Journal Studio, sponsored by Adam Kuttner. Get the maximum settlement as quickly as possible. This 7 at 7 update, sponsored by Pro Group Management. You're watching 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review Journal.